Hello kittens, I'm Atasia Carnage and you're watching The Myth. This episode of The Myth is proudly brought to you by the open bracket symbol, the closed bracket symbol, another closed bracket symbol for some reason, the letter C, two horizontal lines and the number 3. Let's make sure my hair's did. Fucking beautiful, love. Fucking beautiful. Yeah. All right. Um, as I said, my name's Atasia Carnage, and this is my first time hosting the MIV. And uh, I thought, considering it is my first time hosting, that I might try to um, do something that's important to me. Now, I am a massive fan of perfumes. Anything that stinks like shit. Well, not like shit, but anything, any any shit that stinks nice, that's my bag, baby. So one thing that I've noticed recently is there's a lot of celebrities out there making their own colognes and perfumes and shit like that there. And I thought, well, um, I'm going to have a bit of fun with this and I'm going to go through some celebrities that don't have scents that maybe I think that should. So, um, yeah, let's have a look at them. To start off with... I've got this really nice little number. It's not for everyone. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Just let me get that out of the way first. So, um, but I've got plenty more to choose from if you don't like this one. Okay. All right. So firstly, the scent list on this one is a little bit iffy, but as I said, it's not for everyone. It is the scent of freshly squeezed lizard. An acidic odor, so it's quite acidic. Not for everybody, but um, you know, for some people with skin tone, it goes well. And I'm talking about scent tone. I'm not talking about skin tone. Not about black, white, yellow. I'm talking about what works with your skin. And it also has a hint, just a little hint of narcissism in there. So this is the first one. This is Nude by Jim Morrison. Now this is, as I said, it's a very nice little number, but it's not for everybody. And it may induce spiritual digression. So if, you look, if you're not interested in spiritual digression, not for you. All right, let's move along. I've also noticed that some of the older birds, they're stuck, uh, they're stuck with things like frangipani and things that smell like a toilet bowl. So I wanted to do something a little bit more classy. Hello there. I want to do something a little bit more classy. This here is a classy little number. On Trap by Julia Andrews. So yes, this one is, 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 a, is a classy little number as you can tell. Um, so the scent list is a little bit more palatable um, and it's a bit longer too, but it's really, really nice. So scent list, let's get the scent list up there. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with string. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm quite fond of the scent of brown pa paper packages tied up in string. It's actually uh, my second favourite scent in the entire world, my first being fart. But let me, um, let me just extend that a little bit. It's not just fart, it's the first thing in the morning. It's just oh, rambunctious and obnoxious. But oh, I don't know, there's just something about it that oh, makes my giant eating ball. Anyway, one trap. But I was also thinking to myself, what if um, it wasn't just celebrities that did these wonderful scents? What if we went into historical figures? So, um, I was looking through some historical figures and I thought there are some out there that really should have some some kind of cologne or scent or something like that. Um, so I thought I'd start off with one of my favourite historical figures. This is for something for the people that want something a little bit more simple, don't like all the overtones and undertones and stuff like that, they just want something a bit flat. Alright, so anyone that wants something, something a little bit flat, this is for you. Simplicity by Gandhi. Let's just have a quick look at the scent list. It is um very simple. It's, I mean, it's got bugger all in it. But let's have a look at the scent list anyway. There you go. It has absolutely nothing. And there is a reason for this. Because it is Gandhi's, you know, scent. There is a reason behind this. 
Gandhi himself said, If you were meant to smell like the sweetest rose, you would have been conceived by a donny shrub. So keep that in mind. Moving on. This is for something more of the darker people. Um, sand people. You know, those kind of people. Infidel by Muhammad. Really, really nice one, this one. It is, uh, I mean, it reeks a little bit of, um, how do I put this? Um, it, it smells like shit. It basically smells like shit. Unfortunately, I wasn't given a description of the scent notes in this one. All I got was the catch line. And that catch line is, Allah, dugga, dugga, Allah, shit! I don't think you should post it. Why? It's racist. It's not racism, it's comedy. You're making enemies where it could be avoided. It's such a French thing to say. Alright, I got one last one for you. Just a quick one. Mein Führer by Adolf Hitler. The scent of genocide. I just can't get this fucker off now. That's what I get for doing it with permanent texture. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on the myth. That was just a little bit of a run through, as you can tell. Nothing fucking spectacular, but bear with us. You've been watching the myth. Fuck off. You've been watching the music movie me. All right, and all right. Okay, thanks. Thanks for your efforts, love. I'll, I'll take over from here. This is highly unprofessional. Take it up with the union. All right, lads, um, can we take it from the top? Yep, cheers. All right. <clears throat> You've been watching the music, movie, meme, and media show. I'm Atasia Carnage. Nailed it. God, my eyes are starting to get dry.